Yep, you thought we only talked about fancy bikes here with lots of cool suspension and dropper post luxuries. <laughs> Not so much, guys. Let's get on topic. Hey everybody, it's Thomas with Get Out Arizona and you are watching another exciting episode of Bicycle Showcase here on Toolbox Topic. I'm joined once again by my co-host Brandon Van Leeuwen. Brandon, how the hell are you? Oh, I'm fine. Hey, just chilling back there like a villain. <laughs> he can't really tell you what happened just a, shortly before this episode started recording, but it was devastating. <laughs> We're lamenting right now as far as that goes. So. My heart's a little broken. Oh, I'm telling we'll you, okay. man. We'll It'll be okay. be okay. We'll recover from it. So you'll figure it out at some point. We'll, we'll do another episode dedicated to that heartbreak. Why don't so. we make this a uh, guess what we did wrong? <laughs> That'll be next week. Okay. <laughs> That'll be next week. <laughs> It'll be the, the reprise. Um, so today on Bike Showcase, um, are we, do we ever get back on topic? We do. <laughs> so today on Bike Showcase, what we're going to check out is the Electra Cruiser 1. Brandon, it doesn't get any simpler than this. It does not this. get any simpler than this. And Man. there's a beauty in that. There is. There is. There is quite the beauty in it. So this is made by Electra, and for some people that might be confused, where Electra fits into the Trek uh, uh, paradigm. Let's talk about that really quick. Is Electra, are Electra bikes made by Trek or are they just distributed by Trek? They, the Trek company and, and brand is owned by Trek. Okay. They are under the umbrella of Trek along with some other, um, some other companies that are still, that you won't see around anymore, but uh, like Gary Fisher was part of Trek. Right, but Electra is part of Trek. Correct. Okay, because you That's said the correct. Trek company is owned by Trek, which kind of makes sense. Is that sense. what I said? You did. I'm sorry, Electra is owned by Trek. Yeah. He's still <laughs> upset about what but just they happened. But they still have a headquarters in San Diego, so they're still okay. their own thing. They're just under the Trek umbrella. Okay, well, good. Good for them. Um, let's talk about this cruiser. This is kind of cool. This reminds me of the type of bike that I would cruise in Sun City Grand if I was looking for blue hairs. You're looking for blue hairs? Well, no, if I was looking for blue hairs. <laughs> well, dude, they got their retirement <laughs> money, dude. I'm, so, I'm a young stud compared to most of the guys that live in Sun City Grand. Come on now. I see your, I see. Yeah. Yeah. I'm joking, guys. I go. don't do that <laughs> anymore. No, seriously. Okay, so let's talk about this bike. This is kind of just a fun, laid back, you're just pedaling, you're hanging out type bike. Exactly. That's all you got to say about this thing. This is your typical beach cruiser. Okay. Single speed, steel frame coaster brake it, as you said in the beginning it doesn't get any simpler than this it's got a kickstand guys and, and i love is, this and this is that great bike when people come in i just want a bike and they're very vague right is this the bike you want yeah <laughs> this is Good the stuff. bike they want so nice it's perfect for that um this is our most entry level bike so it's at 399 okay um i think this is the least expensive bike in the all entire yeah <laughs> company um but they also come in different versions. If you want handbrakes, if you want seven speeds, if you want fenders, if you want more right. uh, bells and whistles, this bike certainly can come with that. It'll be like called a 7D or 8D. They have different models, the Lux. Yeah. Uh, same same basic principle, but with just fancier. More options. On it. Yep. Yeah. This is like but the entry one, level Corolla. Yeah, yeah. But you can get one that's fully loaded. <laughs> that's right. And at that point. TRD Corolla. Yeah. Well, and then at that point, I was going to say you can actually buy the, the Maxima <laughs> when we get a fully loaded Corolla. Right. So. Cool. <laughs> so this is a great bike, too. At $399, if someone's cruising in and just wants to get a quick birthday gift or, yeah. or um, a Christmas gift for somebody, it's fantastic. People are stoked to get a bike like this. Freaking ride this to the market with a little basket, get your loaf of bread and gallon of milk and everything. That'd be great if there was like a market close to my house, I can, you know, lollygag <laughs> to like that. Um, so for my purposes, it has a little bit different purpose than getting groceries. Oh. So this is probably the best add-on. Is that a cup bike. holder? It's a cup holder. Oh, nice, dude. I don't know if that one will fit. Oh, it no, fits. not quite. Bit, you might just yeah, it. You no, might just it would bounce out, dude. It. I can't trust it. So you, uh, cup holder goes right here and you go to... You go to uh, Target, get yourself a tumbler with a tapering end on it, and uh, man, you're whatever, gonna be boozing while you're biking. Whatever dude. you like in there, whatever uh, you like. Man, wine for the ladies and <laughs> beer for the guys, I guess. Well, I know some ladies that drink beer. Don't. I'm trying to sound totally sexist, just a little bit there. Um, well, I mean, you could put a basket on here, and you know, 
a chucklehead like me would put tassels in a unicorn bell or something, you know, just... It's a fun bike. It's yeah. supposed to be fun. Yeah, it's You're meant to be You're supposed to not fun. worry about anything. You're not worried about getting KOMs on this thing. You're not worrying about your fitness. OTB is nothing stuff. like that. Nothing. Yeah. You're just cruising, enjoying a day out on a bike. That's what this is for. But you still should have a light in the back and maybe one in the front so you could be safe if you're riding in the night. That's about the only thing I would say. All right. <laughs> as much as we stress safety in this goddamn show, the one time you're like, nah, whatever. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You no, know, like we do that too. Yeah. We, have, we have some good lights. Yep. You, you want to be safe and everything. Yeah. Um, regular tubes in here, and of course you can go, you wouldn't necessarily go tubeless, There's but you no, could put these like. Are, this, is a, this is an inexpensive bike. Yeah, yeah. Thing. But so I mean, a, if you wanted to, you could put like maybe thorn resistant tubes or something, put, yeah. just some yeah, stuff some in there and everything. Would be, yeah, would be a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Even on the road, we're going to get a lot of thorns and things that are all in right. the bike lane, so some protection like that. But And I say this is a bike for, for all ages. Obviously, a child cannot fit on this bike, but we're talking about adults. It doesn't matter if you're They also make young a 24 20s. version of this. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. So it is so fun for it can all be, ages. It can be for... Well, we also set the family some of beach uh, smaller cruisers. people on the 24s, too. Midgets? He doesn't like it when I use that word, dude. Midgets. I love midgets. I still want to go to the midget convention, the annual midget convention. That's that's a bucket list item of mine. I don't know if you can say midget. I'm I can say sure. midget all I want, dude. All right. all right. It is your channel. It is my channel. <laughs> <laughs> How cool would that be, though? Seriously, if you were hanging out and partying with like a thousand midgets and you could put one on your shoulders... We've had this conversation before. Our backpack. Get someone with a microphone and go, who runs by the town? <laughs> Master Blaster runs by the town. <laughs> It'd be great. It'd win Halloween every year. All right, enough about the yeah. midgets. Trying to get them comfortable. <laughs> Do you have an aversion to little people? I'm not saying either way. Yeah, oh, look at this guy. <laughs> all right, so let's get back on the Electra. So great bike, fun for all ages. It comes in a 24. Now, as far as, you know, normal sizing goes, small, medium, large, extra large. One size fits all. One size fits all. There's this one, mm. which is the traditional uh, version. There's also oh, a step-through version. Oh, you probably have a step-through version. So okay. if you're a little bit shorter, we can get you the step-through step gotcha. version. Gotcha. Drop the seat down. Yeah. Hopefully your feet, feet touch the ground. Yeah, it should be thing. nice and comfortable. should okay. be able to put your feet flat on the ground. Oh, yeah. Mm. Good times. Oh, I like it. So, all right. And yes, at $400, it's nice. And perfect now, for Arizona, too, because they're so flat here. We don't need gears. A lot of places, yeah. That's all a guy needs. Yeah, you're not going to be necessarily riding it up in Flagstaff. <laughs> so, quick question, though. Now, we always talk about how the inexpensive Walmart bikes and China knockoffs and everything like that lack a degree of serviceability. Is this bike still fairly serviceable? I mean, as things wear out, are they common enough, uh, commonplace in the parts and stuff where... Someone could bring it back here and say, hey, Brandon, this is going wrong, and you guys can get parts oh, for it. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. So I would say the parts on here are maybe just a slight degree better than what you're going to find <laughs> on those bikes. Uh, but the point is, again, the way the bike rides, if you got on some of those cruisers, perhaps that you might find it from a department store, mm -hmm. things don't line up. They don't feel that good. Yeah, no, absolutely. Them, those are still janky this bike POSs. It feels solid. You can ride yeah. this thing no handed. It is a solid bike. It is well engineered. It is well uh, put together. Nice. So that it's it's maybe this will be my next better. bike, guys. <laughs> I'm joking, dude. It's not. <laughs> maybe somewhere down the road. Who knows? And I'll get a basket and a, and a horn and everything like that. So it's a great all right, time. yeah. Well, there you have it, guys. Um, for bike showcase today, like I said, we just don't talk about the fancy pants bikes. We talk about all kinds of bikes that are available here at Trek Bicycle Store of West Phoenix. Um, and let's have a little bit of honesty, dude. We're just running out of bikes to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a dry season so far. A it's little bit, sad man. out there on the showroom yeah, floor. Yeah, definitely. Get some bikes so, again. Um, we'll get it figured out, though, for sure. Um, all right, so a couple things. One, hit the like, subscribe, bell notification icon. Helps out the channel, helps out the video, and you'll be kept up to date on any time we post a new video. You'll be one of the first ones to know. Two, there's a link down below for Trek Bicycle Store of West Phoenix, where the cool kids hang out, and me. You can follow that link and call Brandon if you have any questions about the bike availability. There was a few of them out there, so you got a few of these in stock. Yes. Okay, so come check it out. Ask questions about other All bikes. supplies last. Yeah, yeah, you can get your heart broken and try to order something, you know, like a Top Fuel or a... Don't even you know, try it. Slash 9.7 or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, come check it out. Or if you have any questions in general about any of the episodes that you've seen or bikes or anything like that, give the guys a call. They'll be more than happy to help you out. And we have our social media, which is going to be Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. You can follow us there. We would appreciate it. And you're going to be kept up 
uh, all the day-to-day -day affairs of Get Out Arizona. The other links down below, some of those might be affiliate links, and I have to let you know that. So if you follow one of those links and you make a qualifying purchase, a small percentage will earn a commission, um, which helps for coffee, gas, and park passes. And we can use all the help we can get, ain't no doubt about it. So on that note, God, not a whole lot else to say. Uh, except thank you, Brandon, once again, for hosting us. We appreciate My it. Pleasure. We're here every week. And know, guys, you should know this mantra by now. Be kind to yourself and others. Be amazing stewards on that trail. And we have to ask, what are you waiting for? Get out, Arizona. Yeah. We'll see you on that next adventure. Take care, everybody. Brandon, we'll see you next week, buddy. Get out. <laughs>